without sounding um, patronizing, Nigeria has an Igbo problem. So it's a multi generational issue. You know, like it's like one, it's like when a father is dying and they are not Igbo, they will tell their son, please. I have problem with Igbo people continue from there because that's all that's the only way I can explain that and I understand it came from the civil war and uh, so because I was surprised that uh, Tinumbu would even take uh Namdekano's case you know more than two days after he came into office I expected that just as he was declaring against uh subsidy he would just say, look, you know, for national cohesion and whatever lie you want to tell, uh, we're going to let this man go for now and figure out how to resolve our differences. But the fact that they even go worse uh, shows that it's just like there's a secret file somewhere that said, look, you know, don't open. No, just continue where we start. Uh, but beyond that, also, I also know that there are some Igbo elites who are complicit in it because there was a time they were having conversation about it and they said ah no please let's have election first and then after the election uh the devil intervened the more but i the most important thing is not to even reduce it to that alone is that there is something about the nigerian states and the nigerian nation and uh, how they see biafrans so and i i think it came from the biafran war Maybe because people like us didn't participate in the war. That's the reason we feel this way. Because I, I was born in 1971. I cannot carry, I, I don't have a multi-generational cause, uh, you know, or uh, um, conspiracy against uh, Igbos. But I genuinely, and I've said it several times, and I'm not saying it, it's, it's based on what I know. There's no, I mean, even the Supreme Court was this shy of saying, look, this guy did nothing he broke his bail. In fact, I told Namdekano's lawyer that they should not reapply for bail because the Supreme Court has reseted the bail practically from what they said. But they went and reapplied, and you know, and there's no way, and I'm saying it, there's no way Namdekano is going to get justice from a federal higher court, a court of appeal, or Supreme Court. It's impossible, except if the state decides that because Namdekano is the official prisoner of whomever is the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So I was, so I know what it means to be, you know, they have to go to the president every morning and report that you're still alive or you're eating or you're on hunger strike. So, and, but for, at this time, he's the official prisoner of the president. And you know, anything that is official to the president, the president doesn't let go. 